Well, transportation of crude oil supplies via rail, a huge theme this year. In fact, there are industry estimates out there saying that we could bump up to the range of 700 to 750,000 barrels of crude being shipped via rail per day. That is a pretty staggering amount there. But recently, of course, these accidents are putting people on high alert, specifically in North Dakota's Bakken Shale region, uh, especially in light of last week's BNSF railway train collision and that explosion that you're discussing. At issue here, why the unrefined crude supplies are exploding. Typically, you see that it's more of a threat after crude has actually been refined. Now, after speculation that perhaps additives to the oil or even mislabeling might have been a contributing factor to these explosions, the NTSB is the federal, federal authority that's now looking into this issue. Today, the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Administration issuing a safety alert saying that crude being transported from the Bakken region may be more flammable than that traditional heavy crude oil. Now, the BNSF told CNBC that it's cooperating fully with the NTSB and wants to learn all that it can from the investigation to drive even more safety improvements. Still, of course, these accidents raise a bigger question. Should the focus be on building out pipelines, which are cheaper and perhaps a safer means of transport? And of course, this all comes as we're waiting for a decision on the Keystone Pipeline out of Washington. So the energy industry right now grappling with some very big issues.